It is our distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Alberto M. Carvalho, Principal Garcia, Honorable Dr. Martin Carp, my good friends, Alonzo and Tracy Morning, distinguished platform guests, parents, community leaders, friends, and the most remarkable, talented, inspired, inspirational, passionate, compassionate, intellectually superior, undeterred class of 2016. and I had a chance actually to listen to the student's speech and then get to this beautiful couple's message of encouragement, of values, of principles, how to orient your glorious lives in days to come. So my remarks shall be brief, but I want to mention specifically the fact that uh, Tracy and Alonzo have not spared the moment or an opportunity when it comes to supporting this great school, and I appreciate that. And coming out of a weekend when we lost a great American, when the world lost one of its angels, somebody who stood for conviction, who stood for principles, undeterred by threat, have the courage to live right by living righteously. I have to be reminded of the fact that both Alonzo and Tracy spoke simultaneously almost at the same podium. Because as I was watching TV on CNN, there was this interview with the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know, he stood seven feet two, uh, seven two, I believe. And he said, never did I feel taller than when I stood in the shadow of Muhammad Ali. Because the measure of a man is not in inches it is in conviction, in determination, in courage, in the ability to be willful about not only his words, but also her actions. And this couple does that. I know that as you walked into this auspicious venue and how beautiful it is, today you walked with a special stride, with specific purpose. To the pomp and circumstance, you exuded protocol, you exuded pride and confidence. I know the young ladies walked in with perfectly coiffed hair. <coughs> my, 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 so much money spent on hair salons this weekend. More makeup than Nordstrom's and Macy's could sell in the entire year has been worn here today. And yes, pounds and pounds of mascara leading to the world's longest eyelashes in the history of mankind. Now the young man, I know you walk feeling like you are today's superhero. A little bit more air in your chest today, that vein on your neck about to pop. And that top button or shirt begging for mercy. And even though this last journey you walked it by yourselves, there were many preceding journeys that somebody was there with you from the very beginning. When God sparked life into your spirit, into your soul, there were adoring, loving eyes full of anticipation looking down on you. They were your parents, moms and dads, uncles and uncles. They were abuelita, <laughs> loving you from that very first moment. They have wished for you for you to live a life that replicates their ambition. I know many of you have overcome incredible sacrifices, incredible obstacles just to get to this point. And I know to a certain extent that is a mirror image of what they sacrificed and what they had to go through. For many of you, being the first to graduate high school, many of you the first to head to college, you are living both your lives as well as the lives your parents, in many instances, have hoped and wished to live for themselves, but they lack the opportunity, they lack the chance. So I want you to honor their ambition, their desire, their dreams, and live the dual lives that you are destined to live by your own design. 
inspired and destined by God, but drawn and walked by you, always mindful of the sacrifices they made. And then when they were then, they passed the baton of hope and opportunity on to the fiery, inspired, inspirational teacher, the freedom fighters of our generation, your teachers, those who looked at you at the beginning as a blank canvas to be painted on. And for one I stand, what a beautiful picture. All shapes, sizes, colors, all beliefs, all aspirations, in one room, in one community, in one already great America. Great not because of the words of a single man, but because of the actions, the collective actions of a community of believers that are determined to live up to your own dreams, <coughs> fulfill your destiny, and live up to your promise. So my friends, I want you to be assured of a couple of things. Number one, you are great. From what I've read about you and what's ahead for you, everything tells me that our futures are bright, for you are bright. You are the generation that dares to live right by being righteous. Do not be fooled by those who decry who you are today. Do not be fooled by those who believe that the best days of America have already passed. Do not be fooled by those who are false promise, prophets of today's reality that deliver somehow negativity, dissension, hypocrisy. Trust in you. Trust in those who believe in you. Trust in those who prop you up. Trust in those whose name you bear. Trust in those who believe in tradition and culture, diversity, beauty, tolerance, understanding, compassion. And if you trust them, then God's trust will be with you. And there is nothing that you can't accomplish. As the old song says, there is no mountain too high, no valley too low, no ocean too deep, and certainly no wall too big that shall stand between you and your journey, you and your success, you and your future. But as you pursue, as you pursue your lofty goals, I want you to always be grounded in the echo of your souls. Folks, do not judge. Or if you are to judge, be slow at it, but be quick to forgive. Pay more attention and measure more people's actions than their words. Judge deeds, not promises. Embrace all humanity and embrace all life and certainly respect it all. From the small to the big, do not ignore the tiny, for the tiny can have impact. Have you ever tried to sleep with a mosquito? <laughs> do not ignore that which is around you, so impactful and a clear reflection of God. Always take time to acknowledge the smile of a child or his or her tear. Never turn away from the homeless man under the bridge, for there is dignity and humanity in all of us. Take time to appreciate the sound of a bird or the color of a butterfly. Respect. Be responsible and restrained in your living. You are inheriting a troubled world. You are inheriting a world where inequity discrimination, hunger, and anger are so prevalent. Our generation, quite frankly, did not fix it. The solution is on you, and I'm inspired, for you are capable, and you are destined to fix it. You shall be the generation that shall find a cure for cancer. You shall be the generation that shall place a woman on Mars. He shall be the generation that will bring hope, opportunity, democracy to Cuba and Venezuela. You are the generation that will bring prosperity to Haiti. You are the generation that will consider Africa and Asia as brothers and sisters. You are the generation of the here and now. You are the generation of tomorrow. You are the generation. And do not fret over the accusations of those who believe 
that because of your youth, you are distracted. You're not. You're just smarter than we are. You see, we pay attention to one thing at a time. We are limited. You can Snapchat, Facebook, tweet, periscope, text, speak on the phone, hum to a song while doing yoga. <laughs> we can't. Maybe Alonzo can. Because he's really superhuman, we can't. Tracy definitely can because she's a woman. <laughs> So my friends, let me leave you with two last bits of advice. Number one, as I said, you're going to encounter great need. And one of the questions that's going to come at you is, where do I start? When facing incredible need, where do you start? Who is Mother Teresa? Taught us so eloquently. Start with the one closest to you in greatest need. Then move on to the next one. Let people see you doing good by being good. Doing right by being righteous. Doing righteous by being rightful. For the power of love is indeed contagious. And secondly, secondly, follow the advice of a modern day philosopher. Not Aristotle or Plato, Ferris Bueller. <laughs> You see, Ferris Bueller says that life passes you by very quickly if you do not take time and appreciate it. Time to live it, time to savor it, time to be impactful in it, time to be transformational at it. You may just miss it. Do not miss a second of your precious lives. Take time to understand the true meaning of life. Take time to dance, take time to fall in love. I take that back. You're graduating high school, you fell in love 12 times during your freshman year. <laughs> Take time to recognize humanity and linger in the beautiful nature of the divinity that is and lives within each one of you. And if you do that, my friends, I guarantee you, you shall be known as the greatest generation of Americans that ever lived. Congratulations, class of 2016.